Okay, let's get started. Let's now uh, create a new project. This is a new problem statement. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Uh, until now, we use the uh, Eclipse menu, File, New, Java Project. The other way to create a Java project is actually press the uh, use the keyboard shortcut. So press Control N or Command N uh, to open up a wizard to create the new project. So this, when you press Control N, this is what comes up. So this I would use to create a new project. So I'll go ahead and create select Java project. So the keyboard shortcut to start a new something, and if you want to create new, is Control N. And I would click next here. I would create a new project. So this is more course enrollment project which allows us to enroll students into courses so I would call it as course enrollment that's basically the project name which I'm giving it right now if at a later point I think this is not the right name I can come back and rename the project but I think for now this is a good name course enrollment and now uh, I would uh, continue to use Java SC 1.6 and I'll click next. This takes me to the usual one where I have uh, the source projects libraries. Uh, similar to the previous lesson, I would want to create a new source folder called test. This is where I would store all my test classes which would enable me to do test driven development. And I would go to the libraries tab and add the library for JUnit. So JUnit, as with this previous tutorial, we would use JUnit for 4.8.2 is the version which we are going to use. So I'm going back and now click finish. So I now have a project created uh, called Maths. You can see that on the left hand side uh, in the pro package explorer. You would see now a package uh, like a folder for course enrollment. So this has a folder called source which is empty right now because we have not created anything in there and there's a folder called test and you see JRE system library and the JUnit folder. These are the libraries which this project are using. So we have the JRE Java SE 6, Java SE 1.6, uh, JUnit 4. These are the libraries which we are going to make use of. Now go ahead and create our first class for course enrollment. Um, I would start with creating the student class. Um, so I would, uh, similar to earlier, I'm going to press Control N or Command N and choose now Java class because I want to create a Java class and, and click next. And I would want to put my uh, class in the test folder either you can do browse math test or you can directly type in the source folder name um, I would want to put the package in com dot retus dot course enrollment dot we are going to create a student so we are going to do something related to the student I would put it in a student package um, and the name of the class we are going to create the student class, so I will call this student test. As usual, we are going to write the test class first and not the actual class. So let me create the student test uh, and then uh, leave the other stuff as uh, the usual and then click finish. So that would bring me up uh, the student test file. Uh, this is basically uh, what you would see once you create the uh, student test class it's in a package which we uh, declared in the wizard and a class with an open brace and close brace signifying the opening and the ending of this particular class and I would want to start working on this class right now fully so I'll make it full screen so that's control M and now I have the entire screen for my stuff so I'll zoom in a little bit so that you would be able to clearly see what's happening okay good now, the first thing we would do, as usual, is add the S test annotation. This annotation tells Java that student, this is going to be a test method. So, this is, whenever you run JUnit, this is a method which needs to be invoked. So, that's basically what you are telling Java by writing at test. At test, I press control space 
and then you have the import options so i import org.junit.test in front of pressing control space i can go and type in import org.junit.test but i prefer using the shortcut let eclipse do the hard work for me and now as we discussed earlier any test should start with a public void and we are going to test uh, first thing is we want to test we want to create an object called student so i would call this test creation of student so that's basically what we are going to test here so test creation of student that's basically what we want to do now uh, we are going to test the creation of student uh, like earlier uh, the way we create the student class is like this so i want to create a instance of the class student so i'll call student so this is a variable basically now student student creates a variable called student we are not we also want to create a new instance of the student so i would go ahead and say new student that's basically what we want to do so now if you look at it uh, this creates a class called student um, what i would also want to be able to do is to set the name of the student so i call it student dot set name as probably john so that's basically what i want to set his name as and what the test i want to do is actually assert equals i want to check whether when i call the method student dot get name i get the same thing back so this is a simple test what we are doing in here is i'm don't worry about the compilation errors right now or uh, just go ahead and type this stuff in what we are doing is trying to create an object of the student class so that's basically what we are doing here hey java virtual machine give me a object called student so this would create the student and take that instance and put a reference to it in this variable student so here i'm saying this student is of type uh, of type as a class so this student is of type student and i'm doing student dot set name john so i'm saying set the name of this student to john and i'm also asserting uh, the test to i'm then going and checking the student object saying student dot get name come on get, give me the name and i'm checking whether the student object returns me back the name john so that's basically what we are testing in here uh, now let's go ahead as usual create the classes so i would uh, let's try to solve the compilation error so that's command 1 or control 1 so it says create class student so create the class the only important thing is i'm going to create the class in the source folder so i'll change the source folder as you are seeing in the screen right now i would change the source folder let's create the source folder in the next class we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time bye